What is going on everybody? I am back today to talk about a film that has been going through festival circuits for quite some time now. And from what I've read online, they have not been able to pick up distribution through a production company. And so the people involved in making the film finally decided to just make it available for rental on VOD. And after seeing a lot of initial reviews for this movie, I was so excited to watch it. It sounded like such an interesting concept. And from some of the early still images that I saw and some of the shots from the movie, it just looked like there was so much much love and care and passion put into this project and I finally got a chance to check it out and I'm really excited to tell you about Hundreds of Beavers today. Hundreds of Beavers is directed by Mike Cheslick. In the 19th century, a drunken Applejack salesman must go from zero to hero and become North America's greatest fur trapper by defeating hundreds of beavers. So as I said, after seeing some initial images from this movie and hearing some of the buzz, I was really excited to check this movie out. I absolutely loved this movie. The creativity for this film is off the charts and you can tell that the people involved in this project wanted to create something so unique and different than what we're seeing in the mainstream right now and i'm very excited to talk to you about the film today so at the beginning of the film we're introduced to john kayak played by rylan bricks and cole who works for this applejack company and we see it get destroyed in the first five minutes of the movie and he's stranded and left on his own and throughout his survival in the wilderness he comes into contact with a ton of wild animals but they don't look like normal wild animals they're people in mascot costumes and in the entirety of the film he comes upon this small shop where he can purchase these items there's a young woman who lives there with her father that he takes interest in at certain points in the film and the entire film is he's hunting these beavers down for survival and to try to win the interest of this young woman so it's a very simplistic plot, but the movie is hysterical. You'll read a lot of comments about this. It's very reminiscent of early like Looney Tunes or cartoons of that era. There, There's even moments that fall into Charlie Chaplin territory here. There's no dialogue through the movie other than some grunting noises. And there may be like a word you can pick out here or there, but it's about an, it's an hour and 40 minutes of silent film comedy. And it, is ridiculous it's absurd it's creative it's hilarious and i just found myself laughing through so much of this movie and i love seeing passion projects like this for starters the lead performance in this film is exceptional because of the fact that there is no dialogue in this movie this is a complete and total bodily performance and there are so many things that this lead actor accomplishes that feel like something you pull right out of a Looney Tunes cartoon that you really could never think that a human being would be able to pull off. And I was so impressed at the level of commitment in his performance. And the gags in it are so silly and over the top, and it was just so much fun to watch his character on screen. I just feel like he was incredible. Everyone else who shows up in this movie does a really great job. As I said, there's no dialogue, so everyone's performance is very much through the body and the facial expressions and I think they all do a really great job all the human characters in the film bringing this to life in a way that feels very cartoonish and very silly and over the top the visual presentation of this film is spectacular it is one of the most unique visual experiences I've had in a long time. Creating something visually that resembles one of those cartoons from that era, or like even like video game aesthetic in this movie. Uh, it's, it's really, you can tell in the editing room, they paid a lot of attention to detail as to how this thing is gonna look and how it's gonna flow. There are scenes, especially towards the third act, that feel like they could be pulled straight from video games. And it was really entertaining to see all of these forms of media represented in a live action film and th having the, the beavers be people in costumes was so entertaining there's one sequence in particular where a guy's riding a horse and the horse you can actually see the human and the costumes face and it was so funny there's there's just so many great comedic beats in this movie and the there's one of the things i really like is there's a lot of reoccurring gags because when you watch looney tunes or, for, or cartoons from that era there's always a lot of repetition and i think the film knows that and plays into it very heavily 
And there are some gags that take the entirety of the film to pay off. And I think to have that level of patience, especially the last shot of the film, which has a joke come to a close, it was just really cool to see the time and energy put in to crafting all of this humor. And I think your enjoyment of this film is going to be, do you like cartoons from that era or like Charlie Chaplin's silent films? And are you going to settle into the repetition? Because it is repetition. The film is playing similar scenes over and over again with different comedic punches, but you go to a lot of the same settings. You're repeating a lot of the same interactions with characters. And so if you can settle into that repetition and enjoy yourself, you're really going to like the movie. If you start to fall into it and think that it's really tedious, you'll probably get bored. And I think it just all depends on what you look to get out of the film. I would say if I have any complaints with this movie, there are a couple of moments in it that I felt like were a little too repetitive for my sake that I was pulled out. But I still was just completely overwhelmed by the level of creativity in this film and just the passion in each and every frame. And it's like you you would never, and clearly from not getting picked up by production company, see a major studio do something like this. And it's a shame because it's really fun and it's really hilarious. And it's not like there's some huge underlying message of the film. It's not trying to convey anything super powerful. It's just meant to be a really fun time and a very entertaining film, paying homage to a really different era of television and filmmaking. And I loved that about this movie. And I think if you're looking for something totally unique and original, please support this movie and watch it. It was so much fun and I'm already really looking forward to watching it again. So have you seen Hundreds of Beavers? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you thought. I thought this movie was so much fun. I had such a blast from start to finish with it and I'm already really looking forward to revisiting it again. As always, if you can like the video and subscribe to the channel, it helps me out a lot and lets me know the type of content you're looking for. I'm always putting out new material and look forward to getting more out for you in the near future. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Yeah.